right, it's question time. Who have we got? All right, we've got a question from somebody that I can't pronounce their name. I think it's a username. Anyway, the question is, what bedtime gives you the most possibility or the most likelihood of lucid dreaming? This is going to be a short video because it's a very simple answer. There is no set bedtime that will give you the biggest possibility of lucid dreaming. What there is, is there are sleep cycles or sleep habits that will give you the best possibility of lucid dreaming. Let me explain what I mean. So a sleep habit is something like you go to bed at the same time every night, you wake up at roughly the same time every morning. That's a good positive sleep habit. And if you embed that into your life, you're more likely to lucid dream. Another good sleep habit is before bed, turn off all your screens and artificial lights, including your phone, an hour before bed. Maybe do some reading, meditation, stretching, I don't know. But do something that doesn't involve screens for an hour before bed. That's a good sleep habit. By doing that, you'll increase your likelihood of lucid dreaming. Another one is to, as soon as you wake up, do a reality check and write your dreams down. Another good habit. So there isn't really a specific time that you should go to bed, but that being said, okay, there are certain things that you can start to think about. Okay, so, so what this means is, that although there isn't a certain specific bedtime that you need to have in order to lucid dream, you should try as much as possible to align your bedtime with when the sun goes down and align your wake up time with when the sun wakes up. This is your circadian rhythm based on the sun. So this is not a new idea, I've mentioned this a few times, I'm not going to go through the whole thing again because I have other videos for that. But in a nutshell, just try and make sure that when it gets dark, you're at least thinking about starting to get ready for bed. When it starts to be sunny in the morning, when the sun rises, you should think about starting to wake up. Now, I don't know what that would look like for you. Um, it depends on, you know, if your house is facing in a certain direction or if you're in a country um, where there are complications, like if you're anywhere near the North Pole, for example, anywhere in Scandinavia, you can experience like really long days or really short days, depending on the time of year. I get that, and I, uh, obviously that's an exception. But for most of us, uh, for most of the people watching this video, I know that most of you are American or European. So for this, for these sorts of people, for these people, just try and make sure that the sun wakes you up as much as possible. If you can't do that, you know, for example, if you're not, if you don't get any sunlight into your room, or if the sun rises in a different direction and, and it doesn't enter your room until the afternoon, that's fine. But try and simulate it. Try, try and use something that will simulate when the sun is rising, even if you can't see it. Try and use something like a sunrise alarm clock, uh, which will naturally create an artificial sunrise in your room. It's, you know, a small device about this big. And you set it as, an, as you would with a normal alarm clock, but this thing simulates the sunrise. It's like a giant LED torch, but a soft light. So try and have a look at that and try and set that to, to sort of go off when the sun rises naturally. And what that will do is that will get you aligned with your circadian rhythm, with your sleep-wake hormone cycles, with melatonin and serotonin, and you'll just, all round, you'll just feel better because you won't have to worry about bedtimes, you won't have to worry about waking up times, you just align yourself with the sun. Now, I know that a lot of you watching this might think, okay, well, that's a great idea in theory, but I have a job or I can't do that because I have responsibilities, I need to wake up at a certain time, maybe you need to wake up before the sun rises, especially in winter, you know? And that's fine, I'm not saying that that's, you know, you can't do that. It's just that in order to feel the best and have the best chance for lucid dreaming, you should be as in tune with your circadian rhythm as you can, but obviously not everyone is gonna be able to do that. I totally understand that. The other part of the question was, how can I use this to give me a 100% possibility of lucid dreaming? And I just wanted to quickly mention, just touch on this as well, because nothing can give you a 100% possibility of lucid dreams. Nothing can. Uh, even if you take every single supplement, well, I wouldn't advise that anyway. Even if you took a, a dream supplement and you meditated for an hour and then you did a, a wake back to bed technique, if you did everything, it wouldn't guarantee you a lucid dream because it's not about, it's not that sort of hobby. It's not that sort of skill. You can't just do something and then feel like that will guarantee you a lucid dream. You need to build up habits slowly. There's, you know, a lot of different factors at play with lucid dreaming, and it's a very complicated, and it can be a difficult thing to do. So nothing can give you a 100% possibility. But don't let that put you off, because you can, you know, by doing lots of the basic things, 
you can give yourself a very good chance of having a lucid dream. So anyway, this video has gone on a while, hasn't it? So I'm going to end it there, and thanks for watching. See you next time. Done.